Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian. I have decided I will vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of this awful war with Russia. And in my daily videos I try to update you on the important real-life situations in Ukraine and of course I'm always glad to answer your questions and to clarify some facts from our history, culture, background or whatever interests you. And today I want to dedicate my vlog to a truly missile strike uh, night that we had in Ukraine. And uh, just as I was thinking about the topic for today's vlog, we had another air uh, drills, air raid drills, and I decided to record that. I still did not have my red lipstick on, as Churchill advised us to wear during the war. Uh, but I wanted to give you this illustration so that you could see the reality in Ukraine when we have, for example, evening service in the church and then we have air uh, raid drills and we have to react, we have to hide and be careful as the situation is getting pretty hot while Putin is trying to involve Belarus in the full-scale war with Ukraine. So now a short illustration and I hope you will be able to hear the sound as I live close to the central cathedral and also I wanted to give you a little bit of that sound of the air drills. We have an evening church service that you can hear and we have air drills. Well, as it is a vlog, I don't always have to be an expert in the things that I say and today I want just to describe you an average night of a Ukrainian that I have experienced uh, today, for example. I don't know why I have this. Typically, I'm a very sound sleeper. I don't know how do you describe a person that sleeps really well and does not react to noises. But this night I woke up somewhere at 2.30 a.m. and I was thinking about life, you know, and then I have heard a, a raid drills and they were really loud and of course they are always loud they are meant to be loud and uh what made me like uh it was a very mm, real observation or actually a very real sound two cats were making love outside and you know you can hear the sounds they produce when they do that and it was kind of funny to some extent. It's both funny and tragic because you could hear that this air raid drills, they don't interrupt the cats. And this night uh, we had uh, been attacked from uh, the air, but from the territory of Belarus, um, 12 or something planes, missiles that uh, stroke the various regions in Ukraine and there were lots of these missiles. For example, Zhitomir region 30 missiles, uh, Chernihiv region 20 and uh, there were lots of them in different regions and perhaps this is one more signal that Putin is trying to involve Belarus in this full-scale war with Ukraine because this is important for uh, the demonstration of solidarity among uh, this Soviet, I'm not going to say even post-Soviet, Soviet countries and also uh, the destruction of the Ukrainian armed forces from the war in the east of Ukraine. Also, they have a couple of meetings with Putin and Lukashenko, I mean, these days, and they are speaking once again about nuclear weapons that can be brought to uh, the territory of Belarus. They are bringing closer Iskander uh, systems and all of that to make us feel more uh, afraid, but it won't work like that. The only thing that we have to do is actually become more and more attentive. And uh, in general, I think this is both like the reaction to the EU, uh, um, the fact that Ukraine is becoming a candidate of the European Union, but also the demonstration of power. And also, I do understand that uh, Putin will try to blackmail and uh, manipulate Lukashenko. Lukashenko is a dictator, but he is a weak dictator. 
and perhaps they will frighten him with the information if you do not participate in this war you will lose your uh, presidency or uh, whatever anyway it goes without saying that present-day belarus is treated as a province of russia and this is something that they planned for ukraine but it didn't turn out the way they wanted it to be so uh this is all very weird how quickly you get used to this thing so for example you don't sleep pretty well at night because you wake up with air drills and alarms then you hear cats making love and then you wake up in the morning and you think i want some coffee and orange juice and this is new normal and this new normal is something i don't want to get used to you know like when we ask uh the world not to get used to this war i also uh, like ask myself not to get used to this war because this is a bad uh, feeling I don't want to live with. And another good thing that I saw today was actually how Patriarch Kirill fell and this is how God works because I do feel his presence in my life and also his presence in the life of the Ukrainians and that I think that was a very illustrative signal how he was on a service and then he uh, slipped on the holy water you know just like maybe this is the first signal that something will go really bad in the Moscow Tsarstvo you know so anyway uh, this is just an ordinary talk about this night and I don't know what will wait for us this night how many missiles they will target how many of them will be uh, stopped with the uh, systems that we use to protect our uh, land. Of course, these systems are not ideal and many people in Ukraine die because of uh, the fact that Russians have so many weapons and we still don't have all the weapons we need. And um, from one point of view, you do understand that it takes time, it takes some training, but it also takes lives of Ukrainians who are not guilty in anything, only the fact that they are Ukrainians. Something that seems totally unbelievable and something that is our reality today. I'm very grateful for your support. I'm very grateful for the conversations that you keep in your countries, uh, trying to attract attention, trying to make people feel what Ukrainians feel and fight Russia, because our main task is not even uh, solidarity with Ukraine but fight against evil fight against Russia that wants to destroy not only Ukraine because they speak about Poland they speak about Lithuania they threaten uh, many countries and in general they threaten the planet they threaten the world, world order and they give the very bad uh, example how violations how crimes against humanity can be accepted so our task is to fight together and i'm very grateful for your attention i'm very grateful for your support if you like my vlogs please subscribe and follow the updates and like them if you like them slava ukraini